Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Epic Comic Book Haul, episode number 135. We going long, we going strong, guys. Like the Incredible Hook. Starting things off with Hellboy number four, Darkness Calls, Mike Mignola art. That previous movie, I actually found it interesting and pretty fun to watch. Hey, can't satisfy everybody. Oops, Batman's off the screen right here. Let me recenter that. All right, now it's looking pretty. So, each of these comics, I paid 25 cents for. Oh, my bad, my bad, wrong story. Wait, 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 these are uh, 20, 25 for $10. That's what it is. Sheesh, getting all these stars mixed up. We have Bishop number one, The Last Man. Um, this is pretty awesome cover, awesome art right there. Oh, is this a comic? Oh, wait, this is a Comic Con exclusive. Yeah, San Diego Comic Con. So it isn't just your typical boring bishop number one. Alright, this one is uh, Superman Man of Steel. That came with the toy edition, so it's definitely limited print. Doomsday is coming. Prometheus. I believe this is the very first appearance. Hold on, how come I'm doing the key issues first? I got this probably reorganized wrong. Alright, well you guys in for a trick then. That's Prometheus, first appearance of uh, Lady Prometheus, I think. One of these... Uh, Low key key issues, right? For America's best comics, are they even still around? All right, now we're gonna get to a bunch of these uh Star Wars comics. Can't never go wrong, Star Wars, right? Especially since Disney took control of them from Marvel. All right, Star Wars Empire number 15, Biggs Dark Lighters Final Fate. I don't know who Biggs Dark Lighter is, but we, I guess, we'll soon find out. This is number 16, outnumbered. Number 17, I don't know who these creatures are, but they look kind of freaky. Number, oh wait, wait, this is Star Wars Rebel Heist with uh, Chewbacca. Come on and fight, Rebel Heist. Kind of like a dreamy type of painting, right? Kind of like a Van Gogh style, Impressionist. Star Wars Empire, number 27, looks like uh, Luke Skywalker is teaming up with, is that the Mandalorian? No, no, no. That's what looks like one of the rogue soldiers. I mean, not rogue. I mean, uh, you know, one of these stormtroopers. No, it's not because it got a cyclops. I don't know, man. Got me all mixed up. Somebody correct me in the comic section. Oh, here's one. Check it out. Star Wars Purge, The Tyrant's Fist. Number one with Darth Vader on the cover. Continue on with Darth Vader. This is Star Wars Purge. One shot, last stand of the Jedi. Star Wars number two. This is Prelude to Rebellion. Here are Star Wars Adventures, Tales from Vader's Castle. Star Wars number five. The Empire is one step ahead. Chewbacca and Han Solo. Very nice black cover right here. Kind of galactic style, right? Number six, Star Wars, The Rebellion's Last Stand. I, I, you have to read this in particular order, you know. Um, just Google it. I forgot what site it was, but they tell you what exactly chronological order you're supposed to um, read it. Star Wars number 15, The Princess Bride. Here is Star Wars number one. What is this? Burn the Admiration of the Galaxy. Huh. Interesting book right there. Here's Star Wars number 14, A Shadow on the Empire. Star Wars number 13. By the way, these are mostly direct sales, so I'm definitely paying attention. So, I want to give a quick shout out to the YouTuber Kev's Collectibles. I think he's a collector stationed in New Zealand. He's been finding a lot of Star Wars key issues. Check his channel out, guys. Star Wars number 10, In Disguise and In Danger. Here's number 9, Princess Without Planet. Number 8, Taking the Fight to the Empire. Here's number 7, The Empire is Watching. Star Wars Empire number 23, featuring the galaxy's second coolest smuggler. Hmm, I have no idea who's the first. Boshek, Enemy of the Alliance. Here's a pretty number 2. Not 
don't know what's going on here, but a very awesome cover. See the Darth Vader silhouette on the back. Here is number three, Never Kind of Smuggler. Han Solo being a smuggler. Here is Empire number 14, Vader alone, Vader the Savage. Star Wars Rebellion number two, Brainwashed by the Empire to Kill. Again, direct sales. Star Wars Crimson Empire 2, Console of Blood. Um, with Jabba the Hutt in the back. Bounty Hunters, Scoundrel's Wages. So, you know, back in the uh, 90s, Star Dark Horse printed out a lot of these stories. So they're definitely capitalizing on that. So many stories to choose from. Looks like this one again. I think I got doubles of that. Star Wars Empire number 26, young um, Luke Skywalker, Jedi pilot target. Star Wars Empire number 22, looks like a Chewbacca Han Solo is fighting the blob. We got, oh, whoa, whoa, whenever we see Boba Fett, that's definitely a must-have, right? Boba Fett, need we say more? Is it Boba Fett or Boba Fett? Ghost ship. I'm going to definitely be back and born in that right away. Star Wars Empire number 30, Rebel vs. Rebel. And Star Wars Empire number 31, Darth Vader, Imperial Diplomat. All right, I'm going to speed things up a little bit. We got number 25. I'm sure you guys can read the title. Agent of the Empire. Hard targets. Whoa, another Boba Fett, right? Getting knocked out by somebody. Interesting covers. I love it. By the way, the, mix, com the color combo of Boba Fett really stands out. It's kind of like a, you know, an aged metallic to go with the green. Star Wars number 16, Friendly Fire. Watch your step, Luke Skywalker. Ooh, awesome art, by the way. Very nice painting. Rebels vs. Galactic Empire. Leia's Decision. The Empire has a target light on Leia. This one's very thick. Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. It looks like this is... Uh, Newsstand, check it out. Doesn't say direct edition. Wow. And but see, here's a direct sales when you compare the two. So this is a perfect example of newsstand versus direct sales. Okay. It looks like they put the uh, comics code right here. This one looks like it doesn't even have it, which is weird. I thought the the rule is to always show on the cover. Oh well, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Star Wars, um, number six, Myra Jade. Here's one. Oh, what is this? Star Wars Rebellion number one. Lieutenant Jenic Sunber, agent of Darth Vader. Looks like he's really buffed up. Somebody's been working out. Star Wars number four, very nice cover right here. I like that combination of color white with the yellow, it really stands out. Rebel Heist. General Grievous. Wow. It's a Clone Wars. These, I heard these Clone Wars are hot. So this one's definitely a must-have. Star Wars Empire number 9. Mutiny on the Rand. Ecliptic. Star Wars Dark Empire 2. You know, at first when I went to this comic book store, I wasn't expecting to get so many. I was just looking for key issues. But when I saw this whole stack of Star Wars, I was like, all right, go ahead and give me a small box. You know, I'll, I'll just go ahead and buy it. Star Wars Dark Empire 2. And I think that's store charges for a small box $60. As many as you can fill. Dark Empire number 2. Number 6. Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Squadron. The Fa Phantom Affair. And Star Wars Empire number 18. To the Last Man. I'm going to speed things up because I don't want this video to be too long. So a couple more Star Wars Empires right there. Very beautiful. Of course, you guys are wondering if I'm going to read it. Of course I'm going to read it. I'm reading it in order, though. It might not be in story order, but it's going to be chronological order on the title. Dark Empire 2, that's the first one. Another Boba Fett. Man, I love these Boba Fett. I wouldn't see a Mandalorian, though. That's uh, Empire 13. Oh, I guess we're done with uh, that. So Superman Action Comics, number 689. Actually, you know... You guys know why I decided to grab both of these? Because this features the first uh, black costume of Superman after his death. So supposedly, you know, in the upcoming Zack Snyder remix, 
of the uh, Justice League movie. That's what we will see. Trending up for sure. Web of Spider-Man number one. First time seeing that. This must be what, volume three now? Main Spider-Man. Can never go wrong. Main Spider-Man 619. Alright. 614. 615 Sandman. Spider-Man um, number one with a kind of like a red foil cover going on. Miles Morales and Civil War 2, Part 2, Spider-Man number 8. Here's a Spider-Man with Black Cat. It's Miles Morales, though. And here is Miss Marvel with Miles Morales. And there he is, contemplating about his life. It's more Miles Morales comics. Here's a special uh, die-cut gatefold cover of the 90s. <laughs> number 57 with art by John Romita Jr. It really stands out. I could tell right off the bat because he likes drawing a lot of uh, wrinkles and lines, wavy lines. Main Spider-Man 616, whole bunch of Sandman fighting. That's number um, 619, blood every, everywhere. 621, Mr. Negative with Black Cat. Ooh, fancy cover, yin-yang. 624 with the Vulture, never liked the Vulture. 626, don't know what's going on. Here is a Spider Phoenix, first appearance perhaps. Here is uh, 627. Juggernaut. Yes. Loved Juggernaut. Main Spider-Man. What's that? 37? Is that another volume? Alright. Never liked that cover. Never liked this cover either. 6562. Screws. Clones. All that good stuff. First appearance of... Forgot her name. Screwball. One is hard to remember. One of these uh, weak villains. Here is a Peter Parker Spider-Man number 92. Identity Crisis. Here's one I like. The cover. Kind of like tearing out the page with... Uh, is that Stilt Man? You guys see how much I love the main Spider-Man. Awesome art, by the way. I want to say, is it Pacheco? Not sure. Bachelor, I get it mixed up. Yeah, Bachelor. See that unique style? It's kind of like angular, a lot of detail. I don't know how to explain it, but it's definitely distinctive. Bachelor has that distinctive style going on. That's what you need if you're a combo artist, stand out. I think six. Once a Goblin. Ooh, I love that cover. Here's a number 24 Clone Conspiracy tie in. There's Gwen Stacy. Kind of looks like an Alex Ross painting. I like that right there. Dr. Octopus. Never liked him. Oh. I grabbed two of that. Okay. Main Spider-Man Perot. Parker Industries. Here's an annual size. Jackpot Secret View. So we see that one again. So it's a brand new day storyline. Um, here's one. He's getting whooped by Rhino, I assume. And Spider-Man dishing out the pain on that one. 578. Versus the Shocker. I heard uh, Jimmy Fox is going to play Shocker in the upcoming Spider-Man movie. I'm not sure if I want to see the Shocker. Because he's one of the weaker villains, you know. And that movie never did that well. 581, Harry Osborn in the grave. He's fighting Molten Man. Main Spider Man number 16. Here's number 18. So this is the um, second volume. I think they're trying to rename number it. This was like during the 9 11 time frame. Here is one that I've never seen before Defender comic book legal defense fund. Defender with Garth Ennis, you know, with his uh, preacher comic. So this one is definitely a limited print. Here's another limited print one Injustice 2 uh, with WB Games. Me Spider Man with Black Cat. Here. 585. Character assassination storyline. Okay, continuing on. 
Return of the Spots. That is the laziest cover I've ever seen. <laughs> ah, what's this? Craven's First Hunt Part 2, the main Spider Man, the Webhead Without Fear. Um, is there they were trying to replace Spider Man? Something like that. Main Spider Man 577 with the Punisher. That is the weakest looking Punisher skull I've ever seen. Look at that. That looks like an emoji. <laughs> looks like somebody, looks like the artist had to uh, quickly turn the cover so he just drew whatever. <laughs> That's all I can say about that art. Sorry, I didn't mean to diss the artist, but <laughs> this is a very hot cover right there. Ramo, Humberto Ramo. See, Bachelor and Ramo's art seems similar. Don't you guys agree? The main Spider-Man number nine. Beautiful cover right here. Main Spider-Man with Mary Jane. Kind of have it has a little. How do you explain it? Uh, Jeffrey Scott Campbell and. McFarlane vibe going on. Oh, it's a variant edition. No wonder. Creeper Jeepers. Um, this is signed by the um, artist, I guess. See that? Here's another one signed. Here. Artist and writer, I assume. Action philosophers hate the French. Here's another one. I think I tried to grab all of these. Whoa, what is all this stuff right here? See, signed writer Van Lente, artist Dunleavy. Oh, snap, they even signed the board too. I, I didn't realize that. Did they sign the other boards? Nope, not this one. And not this one. Wow, I'm going to have to keep this board. Because that's a unique art right there. That itself is highly collectible, right? Wow. What about this one? Nope. Looks like I only did on that issue. See, here's another one that says signed. Nope. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Gotta have uh, signed comics in your collection, guys. Batman Outsiders number one. Katana with her old costume. Wait, that's a new costume, I guess. Here's a Batman, Batman Goth, number one, Gotham Knights. Warren Ellis, Jim Lee. Wow, that's a good combination right there. Batman Mystery of Men, number one. Batman and Robin, Boy Wonder, number one. This is the Robin version. Harder to find, I think. Oh, I think I was going for all Batman in number one trend. So we got Batman uh, Robin versus Ra's al Ghul. You got Batman Our Worlds at War. Batman Nightwing vs. Hush. Batman No Man's Land Gallery. There's a Return of Bruce Wayne. Batman Arkham City. Batman The Mad Monk. And here's Daredevil. We're starting to get to the keys again. Number 58. First appearance of um, Angela Del Toro. The fourth White Tiger. Doom. Number two, these are very hard to find, guys. I actually watched Dune. Well, I, I should say I finished Dune again. I don't ever remember finishing the whole thing because I was a kid. But anyway, I, I watched the whole thing completely. And it was actually a pretty decent movie. But I heard when it first came out, it flopped. I don't know why. Because the special effects were amazing for that time. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to the upcoming Dune movie. It doesn't get delayed. Thanos number 11. This is the first appearance of the Fallen One. Who is the first hero of Galactus. Here's the number 22. This is. Um, the first. The first cameo of Batman Beyond. When I picked this out. From the. Uh, <laughs> from the store. I think the owner said. I thought he thought that he picked out like eight ish copies of these and then didn't know one still existed. I don't think he was too happy about that. <laughs> and finally, ultimate key of this haul. The 
The Ultimates number two, featuring the very first appearance of Galactus Lifebringer, who is the opposite of Galactus, who devours worlds. He puts life into the world with a totally different gold armor, I believe. I have yet to read it, but not just because of that key issue element of the first appearance, it's also the highest sought after and hard to find second printing, baby. So, this is another epic comic book haul. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I have one more coming up, and um, it's going to be real hot, guys. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. Happy hunting.